This is the Grand Coulee Dam. Apparently the uh, most concrete used in a dam, or one of the bigger dams, if not the biggest. Not the tallest, but the biggest, I believe. This is the Columbia River. This is at the mouth of uh, the Grand Coulee, which is up there, which is one thing that they do is they they dam the river up at this point. And then they pump the water up into the Grand Coulee. Created Banks Lake. They have a dam at the end of Banks Lake. And they take all the water. And then by gravity, it goes downhill. And irrigates thousands of acres of crops. One of the reasons that the dam is here is because it's sitting on top of the the original granite you can see there's still Columbia basalt on top I think the Columbia basalt group I think if I'm not mistaken it was 59,000 cubic miles of basalt filled the entire Columbia basin with lava layer after layer after layer after layer for millions of years and this is essentially where it ends and it comes on to the original North American continent so they didn't have to go through much basalt to get to the the much harder and not fractured granite bedrock and that dam is situated on granite bedrock as opposed to the basalt that's all broken and cracked you wouldn't be able to build a dam on that Anyway, I'm going to go down below and get some more pictures. Okay, we're here at the lower side of the Grand Coulee Dam. I'll pause on that if somebody wants to freeze it and have a look at it. It's a lot of concrete. I think it's a mile wide, if I'm not mistaken. This was also a location for another ice dam, basically in the same location. The ice was thousands of feet tall here, blocking this valley. And that's what diverted the water into the, what became the Grand Coulee because it couldn't continue down the Columbia, so it filled up a giant lake behind this dam and then spilt over, over those, uh, you can see the top of one over there, spilt over the top of these mountains and created the Grand Coulee. Pretty cool. And of course they use the electricity they generate here to pump the Columbia River water up into the Grand Coulee and create Banks Lake. And then use that for irrigation all the way down. All the way down, I don't know how far down they irrigate, long way down, probably right to the Columbia Gorge. Beautiful crystal clear water coming from Canada out of the mountains. Columbia River starts up in British Columbia. You can see the uh, pipes over there wrapping over top of the bedrock. That's pretty cool. Anyway, here we are. Green Coulee Dam. And this is the list of other magnificent dams I've seen, Glen Canyon Dam, Hoover Dam, amongst others. Well, one last shot of the dam. From farther down.
Good afternoon. Welcome to the Grand Coulee Dam Visitor Center. Here in just a moment, we'll be showing a short 14-minute film titled The Great Floods. This is about the Ice Age Lake Missoula floods that shaped the landscape, including the Grand Coulee. You can see this in our theater above the information desk. You can access this area by the stairways at either end of the building or in the elevator in the center hallway. Again, we'll be showing the short 14-minute film The Great Floods in our theater. Thank you. Sounds like they're showing a film in the theater. Okay, Grand Coulee Dam, folks. One more video. The Grand Coulee here, this is the Banks Lake. This is the uh, dam on the Grand Coulee end, the Columbia River Basin area. This is the dam. That's the Columbia River down over there. And this is uh, this is the dam they built at this end. You can see over there on oh, this dam phone. That's the uh, the irrigation channel that they pump the water up to that fills this lake. I was looking at the information center. It they irrigate half a million acres. It says with this water because from here it flows downhill all the way back to the Columbia River again hundreds of miles to the west so this is uh, quite the engineering feat to irrigate half a million acres of desert essentially they generate the hydro at the Grand Coulee Dam and they use massive pumps to pump the water up here. I think it's a thousand feet or 1200 feet. They pump it up from the Columbia River. This was uh, all done in 1933, started in 1933, along with many, many other infrastructure programs that was designed to get the country out of the Great Depression including Hoover Dam and many other projects similar. Our countries need to uh, undertake something similar again. These kind of engineering projects are beneficial for the advancement of our countries and makes a lot of stuff possible. Anyway, August 2024, Grand Coulee. Something to see. Pretty impressive. Thanks, Lake.